Stephanie, you're not on camera yet. Okay. Hold on just a second. <laughs> just come in here. Come here. Corn! Nothing says summer in the upper Midwest like some good corn! <laughs> but, our, but our foodie queen can't just have it like the rest of us. No, no. She's always taking things up a notch or 14. Give it up for Stephanie Hansen, everyone. The wine seat. C O. How would we do the R? <laughs> and then N. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> um, you guys. I'm so excited for this. I love corn. Corn in I, the morn. I love corn in the morn. Corn yeah. in the morn. Yeah. Corn all the time. <laughs> Photographer Eric <laughs> liked corn in the morn. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. You so, know. But, but people have a lot of summer corn left. So what do you it's do with it? It's just starting left. Like you're just starting to get corn is in the grocery store. Okay. But you're just starting to get corn at like your local farmers markets. You know, the further south you are, southern Minnesota, it's starting to come. We're getting a little bit up north. It is time to make corn salad. And think of corn salad as like a base. Because you can use corn salad and put salmon on it. You can put oh, like Cajun yeah, yeah, yeah. shrimp on it. You can serve it with ground beef in there. Like you could really do a million things with corn. Now I'm going to show you how I did this today. It's a grilled corn salad in perfect Stephanie fashion. I go out to the grill. I go to fire up the propane. There's none. I'm like, okay, how am I going to make grilled corn salad with Everybody no grill? Everybody can relate to oh, that. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. So I go and I take my corn kernels and I lay them right on the top of my gas, my gas stove, right on the burner and turn them up to high. So I got them a little blackened that way. Oh, that's a nice little trick. Yeah, yeah. so that's a little Hanson hack for you. Yeah. Could have planned better, but. It's, you know what, Steph? We're just grateful you're here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Me too. Okay, yeah. <laughs> your corn okay. and all of the details of this recipe are on stephaniesdish.com. Someone sent me an email and they were like, I watched you and you said a teaspoon, but it looked like you only used a half a teaspoon. Like girl, this is TV cooking. It goes fast. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we're just going to get a little bit of cutting those and you know, you can cut a little close, cut a little not so close, whatever feels good to you. I love corn so much. Have I really do. Have you seen these recipes on TikTok where they have corn planks? Yes. No. I mean, ain't nobody got time for that. That corn. takes a long corn. time. Yeah, we'll have to corn do that. Plank. Yeah. Okay, so you got your corn corn ribs. That's corn what they ribs. call them. Corn yeah. ribs, corn planks. Okay. Okay, by the way, these are from my garden that I grew. They're so cute. <laughs> Don't mean to sidetrack, are, but I keep looking at them. <laughs> did you did you have a couple martinis before no, you got here? Just really fired up. I'm gonna have you go in the audience and see if they smell gin. No, it's yeah. really fired up for <laughs> corn salad. <laughs> Okay. okay. Now, notice these. I just want to show you another Hanson hack. Yeah. These are scallions, green onions. Did you know that if you put them in a little water like a plant, they will continue to just grow? No. Yeah. You could like have one batch of green onions last you your whole life. Really? Yes, and you can put them in the refrigerator. Well, that's a little dramatic, but yeah, 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 yeah. It is dramatic, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, cilantro. Okay. Now, let's say you don't like cilantro. You could use basil. You could use mint. This is a very forgiving salad. I'm sorry I'm eating. I'm so, I told you I'm hungry. I, I'm I know. Like, Are you on a diet or something? Yeah, I haven't eaten since March, but that's fine. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I feel you, friend. Okay, little jalapeno. I like it kind of spicy. We're going to make the little dressing right in here with a little bit of salt. Why does the salt never come out on TV? And then another Stephanie Hansen <laughs> fail. I go to get the limes. Oops, yeah. already, they're already gone. Used them for something else. So we're using little cocktail limes. <laughs> <laughs> they still juice. What the hell I are know. those? They're, like, they're little cocktail limes. Or are limes those real? Corona. I've yes. never seen them in my life. Oh they're my gosh, we buy these all the time. They're perfect for a Corona. That's like oh your, yeah, that's your that's your lime. Oh, your, that's real. Oh, that's a great idea. Instead of trying to shove a lime down yes, the bottle, it's your lime beer. Oh, okay, so continue. So you just cut it into four. Okay, yeah. so we've got our lime juice in here. We're gonna use. I think it was the full juice of one lime. But since I'm dealing with the minis, I gotta improvise. The staff is laughing that I keep eating, but I'm just. Oh uh, no, yeah. it's fine. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, now we are gonna use a little bit of mayo. Now, why are we using mayo? You wouldn't have to, but this is kind of a Mexican corn salad. In the, they make a skite, which is a corn salad in a cup. They have a lote where they put the mayonnaise right on the corn itself. Oh. So we're just gonna give it a little Mexican little, little mix. And yep. the, is it a little binder too? Is access a little binding a little bit? No? Well, okay. You don't need binder. <laughs> Finding necessary. I tried. You know, sometimes. I'm just going to shut up. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. when you eat corn, maybe that's binding. I don't know. Let's do this. Know. Let's. We're going to take. You brought it up. We're going to take a break before the FCC shuts us down. More with Stephanie when we return back in a moment. on our website, stephaniesdish.com, and obviously we'll post all of these and the full episodes of The Jason Show on our YouTube page. Okay, okay. Uh, we're finishing up the corn salad. During the break, I microplaned, you know, my favorite tool, just a little garlic. Yeah. We've got our dressing all stirred up. The mayo mix, yep. yes, that so is not a binding component, <laughs> yes. Okay. And then we're going to add a little bit of Mexican seasoning. It's called tahine. Yes. It's kind of like a little salty. You can put this on drinks, which okay. is why I use it. But yeah. Um, also, we're going to add a third of queso fresco cotilla cheese. This is a little bit less salty than feta. You can find it in the Mexican food section in the refrigerated part. I don't know why it's separated there, but that's where it is. Um, and then you just stir this all up and you could like put tomatoes in, cucumbers, Ooh, whatever tomatoes your would be jam. Really good. If yeah. you have a lot of cherry tomatoes this time of year, sometimes people are overrun with tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I actually have a spoon for you so you can stop starving. Well, here we go. While I eat this, well, actually I'm just gonna eat it now. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yum. Oh. Okay, I'm like, last time I think I was here, it was like one of the best things I've ever made. I think this could be right up there. This is right top up five. there. This is top five. This is top five. I'm on a roll. And I have really bad news for you. You are not taking that home. <laughs> I'm eating that whole. Many of you send us questions for Stephanie, even when she's not on. So we collect them, and today she's answering a few of the best ones. It's time for another edition of Ask Stephanie, everybody. That's right. First is Sue in Minneapolis. Hi, Sue. Sue emailed to ask, hey, Stephanie, what's the correct way to season a new cast iron skillet and clean it? I've heard different things. I'm going to eat while you answer. Yeah. So you're going to put uh, all, or, um, vegetable oil all over the inside and the outside, and then you're going to put it in an oven at 500 degrees, and you're going to do that for about 20 minutes. Then you're going to take that super hot pan out of the oven and just set it down. Any residual oil, once it's cooled off, you're just going to wipe with a paper towel, and it's seasoned. Now cleaning, you can wipe. You can use a little bit of soap if you need to. Don't want to do is like scrub with stainless steel because you'll oh. ruin the cast iron finish. Yeah. Just scrub with a, a paper towel or if you need to, a little scrubby. Next, Jen is next. She says, I love to grill steak, Stephanie. What are some veggies I can throw on the grill to serve with the steak? Oh, okay. Well, we're getting into zucchini season. Hello, everyone's going to have zucchini. Just grill it, finish it with a little lemon or a little lime, a little parsley, and you can hit it with a little cheese, a little feta, a little parm. You don't have to have cheese if you don't want to, but it gives it kind of that salty bite. Also red peppers, very underrated. So you grill the red pepper and then you put a little olive oil on there, a little capers, a little parsley, boom, side dish. I don't mind the red peppers. It's the green peppers. Of course, and green peppers and red peppers taste completely different. Completely different. Green peppers infect everything yeah, they touch. They do they, infect. They are the they infect. They, they are the herpes of the vegetable world. And there, yeah, yeah. Why are we putting those on pizza? Yeah, like you get the garbage or the supreme. You can't. Pizza. No matter what you do, yeah. you can't get rid of them. No. You can't get rid of it. You can. People don't get them on pizza because the flavor will be there I even if you pick them off. I completely concur. Yep. Yep. Richard is next. Wasted. He says, I need to bring a salad to a BBQ. Is there something I can make that doesn't need to be refrigerated and can sit out a while? Okay, two things. One is you could do this whole salad without the mayo and just make like a vinaigrette. Add maybe cucumbers, tomatoes, so it's a little bit more vegetable forward. Second, those little creamer red potatoes that are small ones, you just boil those up. 
a little green beans that you cut into like an inch or two slice, boil those up and then shock them in water so they stop cooking and they retain that bright green. And then make a little vinaigrette with lemon juice, olive oil, a ton of herbs, scallions, and just throw that all together. That will sit an entire day outside on a boat, on a potluck table. There's and no mayo fine. at all. Yeah, totally uh, fine. Finally, Betty has a question. Hi, Betty. Hey, Stephanie, what do you eat for breakfast? <laughs> Betty? Okay, I don't eat breakfast. Oh. I'm a faster. I'm a 16 hour intermittent faster. I eat dinner and a lot of dinner, a lot of dinner, <laughs> but I really only eat generally one time a day, a big meal. I'm a lady of a certain age. And as you get older, you gain like they say 10 calories or 10 pounds a decade. Have you heard that? I know, and I don't talk about it very much because oh, I, like, it's not fun to like be making all this food and then you don't eat a lot of it, but. It's real, yeah. I love that's why people love you. I Believe me, I, I, I joke, but. I'm yeah. down to one giant meal a day because dinner is my favorite and I want to eat everything on my plate. I'm a clean plate club. Yeah. And I, I want to eat like all of it. Do you even have coffee? Do you have coffee? I do have coffee. Okay, good. You can and have And sometimes like if I'm at the lake or I'm with fr family or friends, but I generally just eat once a day. Yeah, I do about two. I do about two. Give it up for Stephanie, everybody. For more information, go to stephaniefish.com. I'm a man of a certain age. That's right. <laughs> We're going to take a break. We're playing a game with our audience when we return. Back in a moment. This is so good stuff.